Special value of the high citadel confirmed. Power of artificial intelligence in industrial revolution 4.0 dialogue. Dana responds to making the world cleaner campaign. The RT News is happy to have you watching today. The delegation of the National Council for Cultural Heritage, led by its chairman, Professor Dr. Liu Zheng Diu, has just had a working section with the City People's Committee on the work of managing, conserving, and promoting value of the Dinghai historical relic site with the national treasures preserved in the citadel. The members of the National Council for Cultural Heritage confirmed the special value of the Dinghai Citadel on both architectural and historical aspects. The relic site is eligible for recognizing as a special national heritage. Deputy Prime Minister of Culture, Sport and Tourism, Dang Thi Bit Ling, highly appreciated the Da Nang's effort and determination, especially in the work of relocation and clearance to restore intact the Dinghai Citadel. The Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism will accompany the Da Nang People's Committee to amend and complete the dossier on the Dinh Hai Citadel based on the commands of the National Council for Cultural Heritage and submitted to the Prime Minister for recognizing Dinh Hai Citadel as a special national heritage. In 2018, the Ministry will allocate 10 billion dollars from the central budget to the investment in the project of renovation and restoration of the Hai Citadel. The power of artificial intelligence in Industrial Revolution 4.0 is a theme of an open talk for startup community in Da Nang, which has just been held at the Da Nang Business Incubator Center. This program was in a series of events of the Vietnam Talent Award 2017. At the dialogue, experts analyzed the roles and power of artificial intelligence in the Industrial Revolution 4.0, the competitive opportunities for startup businesses, and tactics to mark the brand names in the market. The fourth Industrial Revolution has currently been spreading vigorously and contributed significantly to the global economic development as well as the Vietnamese market. Artificial intelligence is a part of computer science and is based on steady and applicable theories and principles in this field. Along with virtual reality and mixed reality, artificial intelligence is expected to be present in all areas of social life. In order to attract more businesses to invest in the Da Nang High Tech Park, currently the city is speeding up the process of site clearance in the first phase of the project with an area of 406 hectares, including construction items of leveling and building infrastructure of roads number 10, 12, 14, 16 and 18, which are expected to be completed in the second quarter of 2018. For the area of 187 hectares of Phase 2, the construction progress is also accelerated in some areas at which the work of site clearance has been completed, and it is expected to be accomplished by late 2017. The construction of waste water treatment plan Phase 1 is also planned to be completed in the fourth quarter of this year. Since the beginning of 2017, the city has attracted one more investment project in the high-tech park with a total investment capital of $50 billion, bringing the total number of investment projects to six with a total investment capital of $144 million. US dollars. In response to making the world cleaner campaign, from September the 18th to 30th, the city has held many environmental protection activities. At the launching ceremony for Making the World Cleaner campaign at municipal level, which has just been held in Hoabang District, the city leaders call people of all social classes to participate in the environmental protection activities. Specifically, the localities should pay much attention to continuing to maintain the green, clean, beautiful Sunday movement, contributing to solving the problem of environmental pollution especially focusing on improving the quality of waste disposal and management in the countryside, significantly contributing to the successful implementation of the New Star Rural Area Program, 
During the campaign to make the world cleaner, the activities on cleaning up the environment, especially at the hotspots, will take place simultaneously in the districts. In addition to the activities of planting and taking care of trees, along with the activities on propagating and classifying waste, as well as organizing competitions on environmental protection. According to the Municipal Department of Tourism, in addition to making preparations in reception, logistics, security and facilities, so far the city's tourism sector has prepared for many travel tours serving delegates attending the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017. Specifically, six tours introducing tourist attractions in the central region with a focus on Da Nang have been made for international journalists, including tour to Wuhan Sung, Cham Sculpture Museum, Sung Cha Peninsula, tour to Banner Hills, tour to Wuhan Sung, Hoi An and Sun Tao, tour to Da Nang and Hue Citadel, and a boat tour on Han River at night. According to the city tourism sector, this is the most effective way to promote local tourism contributing to advertising the destinations of Da Nang to international friends. Implementing the Prime Minister's decision number 1566 on the national program to ensure safe water supply in the 2016-2025 period, the Da Nang People's Committee directed the Municipal Department of Agriculture and Rural Development to make plan on supplying clean water for the rural areas in the 2017-2025 phase. Under the plan, the city strives to have 90 to 95 percent of residents provided with clean water and reach 35 percent in the rate of rural area water supply system without established and supplied with safe water. By 2025, the rate of population having access to safe and clean water will reach 95 to 100 percent. The rate of rural area water supply systems which are newly established and supplied with safe water will reach around 50 percent. The City People's Committee required the department to submit the above-mentioned water supply plan for approval in November 2017. The Directorate for Roads of Vietnam said that they are reviewing and recommending the Ministry of Transport to reduce fees at 54 built operate transfer toll station nationwide. According to the director of the Directorate for Roads of Vietnam, the unit is speeding up the review of 54 BOT projects across the country managed by the Ministry of Transport, as well as negotiating with the investors to adjust the financial solutions towards easing fees for people living surrounding the stations and for other vehicles. It is expected that the negotiation and inspection will be completed in October so that the Directorate for Roads of Vietnam could soon submit the proposal to the Ministry of Transport for consideration and approval. The Da Nang People's Committee has just issued the Directive on Economical and Efficient Energy Uses in construction works with areas from 2,500 square meters or above. Accordingly, the municipal departments and related agencies will monitor the power use, provide guidance for investors, project managers and design consultants to actively acquire the national technical specifications regulating energy saving construction works and technical solutions and building materials. The economical and efficient use of energy is equal for all types of investment sources of all construction works, especially those which are funded by the state budget with energy saving solution will be prioritized to be capitalized by the city department of investment and planning. The city's agroforestry fishery trade promotion center offers hide and flower seeds together with flower pots, fertilizers, and plant protection chemicals to four flower and ornamental plant cooperative groups in the city. Accordingly, each cooperative group is provided with 100% high-end flower breeds, including 800 petunias, 800 catharanthus roseus, 625 mini gerbras, and 400 chilies, 
30% of pesticides, flower pots, and fertilizers. In the coming time, the Agroforestry Fishery Trade Promotion Center will continue to support more than 27,000 lily pups for farmers in Hua Farm Commune. The total value of support this time is nearly 200 million dollars from the fund for the implementation of the model, replicating and developing manufacturing flowers of high economic value in Da Nang under the City Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. These are high quality flower breeds to meet the farmers' demand for flower seeds used for Ted Holiday's flower production. And that's it for today's news. Remember to check out dlt.dana.vn to rewatch our program. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.